All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an analog clock in custom live wallpaper, KLWP. And um, this one that I have here, I don't have a second hand on it, but I'm definitely going to show you how to do that as well. Um, once you get the, the, the key thing in this video is to get the hour hand, minute hand, and second hand rotating correctly, because there's a right way and a wrong way. Um, I'll leave it up to you to tweak around, um, adding your numbers and, and, and putting in your little notches and stuff like that. Or if you request it, uh, leave a comment below and um, I'll make a video on how to, to add those pieces or, or tweak the clock to your liking. So let's start with the clean slate. Um, up here, let's load a preset. And let's do a blank one. So we got a clean slate to work with. Now, you want to create an overlap group that holds all of the pieces to your clock. The reason why you want to do that, so I'm going to go down here and create an overlap group. And let me go ahead and rename this because as you start working more and more with custom live wallpaper, you're probably going to have several overlap groups, several stack groups, and you want to rename these things. So I'm going to name this clock, and I'm going to put all the pieces that make up my clock inside of this. So inside of our overlap group clock, and again, the reason why when you start moving your clock around, when you start scaling it, rotating it, fading it out, whatever, resizing it, everything inside of this overlap group will stay proportional in size. It's a great feature of KLWP, no doubt. So we're inside of our clock overlap group. Let's add a circle or whatever shape you want your clock to be in. So I'm just going to create a circle. Let's make it a little bit bigger, something like that. And let me zoom out real quick. It automatically zoomed in. You can change your uh, zoom. Notice where this clock is. It's at the top. So let me get hit on one thing right now about overlap groups. And if I go to position this circle, you're going to see that it's anchored in the center. And you might say, well, it's not in the center of the screen because this circle that we just created is sitting inside of an overlap group. So it's centered in the overlap group, and the overlap group is up here at the top. And let me show you that. If I want to move that circle down here to the center, I don't want to adjust the padding right now. Let me go back to, notice, our clock overlap group. I don't click on the circle. If I go to position my overlap group, notice it says the anchor's at the top because that's this entire overlap group. So let's change that to center. And now notice the circle is now in the center too. Because we did not change the position of the circle, we changed the position of the entire uh, overlap group. We didn't change the position of just this, we changed the position of the entire overlap group. But there's our general shape for our clock. And I'll tell you what, I want to make that a little bit bigger. All right. Now, inside of our overlap group that we called clock, we have our shape, our general shape for our clock. Now you want to add another overlap group inside of this. I'll explain why in a minute. And I'm going to name this overlap group Minute Hand. Because once you learn how to make this, you may want to go back and add uh, other pieces to your Minute Hand different colors, shading, uh, numbers on it, or whatever. But I have this overlap group sitting inside of the entire clock overlap group. I should be using this to point out. But notice we are inside the clock overlap group. Now I have this overlap group sitting inside of that overlap group. So let's go to minute hand. Inside of the minute hand overlap group, let's add a rectangle, or whatever shape you want for your minute hand. So I'm going to add a rectangle. Um, let's change the color, that way we can actually see it. I'll do a red. And now let's change the size of it. I recommend making, uh, adjust the height, not the width. I recommend making this, a, don't make it this long. Um, make it to where it's the, the, the length of this rectangle is a little bit longer than the radius of your circle. And that looks about right. Now right now we want this part to be up here. We want this part to be a little bit past the center. That way it starts to look more like a clock. If we go to position the rectangle, I'm still inside of my rectangle right now. It's anchored in the center of the overlap group that we created. So what we want to do is we want to adjust the padding. We want to adjust the bottom padding so that we can slide this minute hand up some. 
and I would say right about there's pretty good. Notice we are a little bit past the center, that way we have a little bit of overlap on this side, and we're not quite outside of the circle, though you could put it outside of the circle if you wish. But that's a good spot. Now let me go ahead and show you the mistake that you can make. At the time right now is 845. If I go, and I, this is the mistake I ran into, I'm inside of my rectangle shape and I wanted to rotate this rectangle. And that's exactly what you want to do, but watch what happens if I go to rotate and I put it on minute hand exact. It's up here. I want that rectangle to be here. So it's rotating, it's pointing at 45, but it's not rotating at how I want it to. And the reason why is this. You don't want to rotate just the rectangle. You want to rotate the entire overlap group that's called the minute hand. So here's my overlap group, minute hand. I want to rotate this entire thing. So inside of here, I don't click on my rectangle. I just go ahead and click on layer from my overlap group, and I want to rotate the entire overlap group. So let's do minute hand exact. All right, now it's 846. So notice now we have the center point here because the rectangle is anchored here and we have the entire overlap group called the minute hand rotating in relationship to minutes and that's 846 or the 46 at least. I'm going to show you how to get the 8 now. But that looks good. We're done with the minute hand. Now let's repeat this process. So now back you know we're in the clock overlap group. We've created our shape for our clock. We got a minute hand in there. Let's copy this minute hand and let's rename this to our hand. So what it just did, when we copied that, it's taken everything that was in this minute hand and it's copied it down here to our hand. So we need to fine tune the length, we need to fine tune the color, uh, probably change some padding, and we have to change the rotation. Otherwise it's going to be the same thing as the minute hand. So let me go ahead and change the color first. Notice it kept our rectangle because, remember, our minute hand had a rectangle in it. This overlap group has the exact same rectangle. So let's go ahead and change that color, and we'll change it to a blue. Whoops. All right, notice it, it, you might say, oh, man, we just lost the red rectangle, but we didn't. Um, here's why. Let me go back to the shape of this rectangle. And since we're doing an hour hand, let's make it a little bit shorter. See the red see the red one back there, the minute hand? We're making this one a little bit shorter, right about there. And let's go ahead and adjust the padding before we rotate it. I want this padding, I want this uh, hour hand to still overlap kind of over here. So let me go adjust the bottom padding of this blue rectangle. Oh, it just switched on us, which is okay because now it's 848. The red one's not auto-updating, but it's okay. It will once you go back to your home screen. But now I have it uh, where I want it. This is the hour hand. It is shorter. And now, remember, you don't want to go back to the shape. You don't want to rotate just the rectangle. Don't select that. You want to rotate the entire overlap group called hour hand. So here's hour hand. I'm not clicking on the rectangle hour hand, I'm going to click on layer of the overlap group and let's rotate it uh, using, I'll do hour exact. The difference between exact and smooth is that the smooth will actually move, um, it's constantly moving pretty much, whereas exact it kind of stays in one spot until the new hour comes along. But I'm just going to do that here for now. So look at the time up here, 848, that looks like 848 to me without even having any numbers up here. So we're good. Now, do you want to add a second hand? Let's see if you can do this on your own. I'm going to show you anyway. I'm going to copy that minute hand again. And actually, since I already had it copied, I probably could just pe uh, press paste again. And did it paste? Nope. Okay, let me just recopy it. So now we have the minute hand copied yet again. But now I want to go ahead and rename this one to second. All right, so under second hand, let's go ahead and change our color. Let's change our length slightly. Let's change our padding. Then we'll take care of the rotation. So let's change this to a green. Good enough. Now notice it's the same thing as that red one. Uh, let's make the second hand, I don't know, we can keep it the same length if you wanted to. 
um, it, it wouldn't be a problem there. I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter just to show you we still have that red one back there. See the red one? I'll make it about that short. Um, actually, probably the second hand, maybe it's a little bit longer. And that looks pretty good. I'll tell you what, watch this. We're going to let this one overlap a little bit because see how the, the overlapping over here? We're going to let the second hand kind of come out here outside of the clock because you can tweak that to your liking. Let me change the padding. To make them about the same length. Oh, that's perfect. I thought it was going to overlap. If I slide it over here a little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. You know, put it right about there. No big deal. It's outside of the circle. That's okay. Sometimes when you start doing things a little bit too big, it will change the size of your overlap group, but we're good right there. Remember, you don't want to rotate the shape itself. You want to rotate the entire overlap group that you called second hand. So clicking on second hand, clicking on layer of that entire overlap group, and let's change it to second hand. And now we should be in business. So 851 approximately, there's our second hand. Notice everything's rotating nicely around the center. And uh, there it is. Now from here, uh, if, if like I said at the beginning, if, if you want uh, to tweak the minute hand, you know exactly where to click. You can even add more stuff in here. You can put text on the minute hand. You can uh, actually have it counting the numbers. If you want to see that, leave some comments. I'll show you how to do that in another video. But for now, the main goal here was to show you how to get these clock hands rotating correctly because that was a mistake I was making. So with our clock uh, working correctly here, let's save this to a plot. Um, you can export it if you like by going back here and you can export that preset or you can save it as a component, um, however you wish, but click and save right there will apply it to your wallpaper. And as you can see, we do have that uh, working quite nicely right there. Now, I mentioned the, the overlap group, so I want to talk about that before I end this video. You know, everything that we created in this clock set inside of an overlap group called clock. Let's revisit that. Now, everything sat inside of here. So now what we can do, if I click on clock, and I don't click on any of these things, I can start changing things right now. I can, If I change the scale, now again, we're just inside the clock overlap group. Everything about this clock is sitting inside of it. So we can change the scale, and notice as we do this, everything stays proportional. The minute hands, the second hands, the hour hands, they all stay the same. Um, we can change the position. If you wanted to put it back at the top, you can put it back at the top. Everything's moving in proportion and that's all because of this overlap group clock. We put everything inside of it so all this stuff that we've created is going to stay proportional. Notice if I save this now, go back to my home screen and notice it's at the top. That's great. It's a great feature of KLWP and um, it just opens up so many possibilities and ease, ease of customization does come. There's a learning curve to this obviously, but um, coming from like Zuper Widget and things like that, you'd have to adjust each piece separately or maybe there was a way to do it, but um, I found this to be much easier. But there you have it, an analog clock in KLWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.